I am Dr. R. R. Sanat, Head Department of Botany, Rao Badur Narendra Bharavke College, Srampur. I am going to deliver the lecture of the TYBSC Botany Paper 4th, that is BO334, Spermatophyta and Paleobotany. In that, the part of the spermatophyta, that is the angiosperms, in that the topic is the origin of angiosperms. So, regarding the origin of angiosperms, so, as far as concerned its origin, then its time, scale and origin of angiosperm. So it is very difficult to mention the exact time, then exact place and also the exact ancestors of the angiosperms. So regarding the origin of angiosperm, as far as concerned, to its probable ancestors or ancestry of the angiosperms. Then for that, there are so many theories suggested by the different paleobotanists, like the Benitatilin theory, Tildosperm theory, Nitalian theory, Setonial theory, and so on. But all these are the probable ancestors. They are not the direct ancestors. Because all these theories were based upon the evidences or proofs which were obtained from the different types of fossils and fossil records. So out of that, this is one theory known as the Nitalian theory. So this theory is, it suggests that the Neetam, actually this Neetam, it is the angios, it is the gymnospermic plant. It is the gymnospermic plant. And this Neetam, it is known as the advanced gymnosperm. So it is the advanced gymnosperm. So why it is called as the advanced gymnosperm? So reason is that this netum it shows the many characters which are similar to the angiosperms. So the characters of the netum and the characters of the angiosperms they show the similarities and on that basis many paleobotanists they have suggested that the netum is the ancestor of the angiosperm but if we see the characters of the netum so many characters they are the gymnospermic characters so as the netum, it is the gymnospermic plant, it shows the gymnospermic characters. And so according to many workers, many scientists, they are of opinion that the similarities found in netum and also the angiosperms, so it is due to the parallel evolution. It is due to the parallel evolution. So it means both these groups, that is this netum and the angiospermic plants, they have been developed on the earth's surface at one and the same time. And that's why yet many scientists, they have suggested as the probable ancestor of the um, angiosperm, probable ancestor of the uh, angiosperm to the, this, this netum, but according to some workers, 
due to the similarities between the netum and the angiosperm it is due to the parallel evolution it means both this netum and angiosperm they are developed at the same time now uh, let us see uh, why many this paleobotanists they have suggested to this netum as the probable ancestor so it is on the basis of the different similarities so let us see about the angiospermic characters of netum angiospermic characters of netum so as i told you this netum it is known as the advanced gymnosperm and it shows uh the mini characters like the angiospermic plants now let us see about the morphological characters morphological characters so you can see the morphology of this netum then you will observe that this netum it shows the presence of woody habit so it shows the presence of woody habit the plants are linus actually it is the woody climber it is the woody climber and thus this is important morphological character which is the angiospermic one that is the plants it shows the woody habit if we see the leaves so these leaves they are dorsi ventrally flattened leaves are dorsi ventrally flattened and these are dicot like so leaves are dicot like it show the presence of dorsi ventrally flattened structure with reticulate venation and if we see the flowers so this flowers they show the perianth flowers are with perianth lobes so thus here these are the angiospermic characters which are observed in the netum which are the morphological one then if we see the anatomical characters anatomical characters of netum then we'll observe that there are so many anatomical characters which are similar to the angiospermic plants so first is if we see the wood anatomy so this wood it shows the presence of vessels so wood with vessels and shoot tubes with companion cells shoot tubes with companion cells so here we know that in all the angiospermic plants the xylem it shows the presence of these vessels tracheids xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers and phloem it shows the presence of the shoot tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers so here these characters they are not found in the gymnosperms because if we see in the gymnosperms the vessels are absent as far as concerned to the xylem so in the xylem it is without vessels and shoot tubes so the shoot tubes they are without companion cells except the order nitels so order nitels so in the order nitels including this genus that is the netum 
So in the order details, including this plant that is neetam, these characters are present. That is, would it show the presence of the vessels? Would it show the presence of the vessels? And shoe tubes, in case of the phloem, it shows the presence of the companion cells. And thus here, these anatomical characters, which are observed in the neatum, as far as concerned to the wood anatomy, so they are present in the neatum, which is resembling with the angiospermic characters. Then, if we see the uh, mesophyll tissue, if we see the anatomy of the lip, so this mesophyll tissue, it is differentiated into the spongy and palisade tissue. Spongy and palisade tissue. Spongy parenchyma and palisade parenchyma. So thus here, the mes if we see the uh, anatomy of the lip, it shows the presence of the spongy and the palisade tissue. If we see the, uh, the stomata in the leaves, so the stomata, these are the dicot like. So the dicot like, it means it shows the presen presence of the guard cells. These guard cells, these are kidney shaped. Kidney-shaped guard cells are present in the stomata and thus here this uh, stomata which are kidney-shaped, showing the kidney-shaped guard cells, they are characteristic of the dicotyledonous plants and thus as far as concerned to the anatomy of the leaf, the stomata which are dicot-like and another character is that the leaf is dorsiventral, leaf is dorsiventral. That is, so this uh, lip, uh, it is dicot-like and it is dorsi-ventrally flattened. It means it shows the dorsal and ventral surface. That is, lip is flat. If we see in many plants, say for example in pinus, there is a presence of the needle-like leaves, in thuja, in other plants. So the structure, in arocaria, so the structure of leaf it is different, it is the completely differ, differing from the angiospermic plants. So this here, if we, if we observe the anatomical characters of the knee term, they are showing the similarities with the angiospermic plants. Then if we see the embryological characters, so these embryological characters, if we observe, embryological characters, if we observe in the knee term, then we will observe that the ovule, so these ovules they are with two integuments. Ovules are with two, number of integuments are two, so the two integuments are present. If we see the ovules or the uh, uh, cotyledons, so this cotyledons, their number is two. So two cotyledons are present in the embryo. So thus the cotyledon number it is two in the uh, uh, embryo. If we see the uh, endosperm, so this endosperm it is formed after the fertilization, endosperm is formed after the fertilization. So we know that uh, in uh, angiospermic plants, so in this angiospermic plants, uh, after the double fertilization, the endosperm is formed. So such type of endosperm, it is formed uh, after the fertilization in the neatum also. So if we see uh, the male gametophyte, so in male gametophyte, so 
prothelial cells are not formed so this prothelial cells these are absent there is no formation of the prothelial cells in the development of male gametophyte while in case of if we see uh, the female gametophyte so in female gametophyte so here there is a absence of the development of archegonia so in our so this archegonia these are absent in case of the netum which is also the angiospermic character so we know that in case of the all the uh, gymnospermic plants the prothelial cells are developed in the male gametophyte and in female gametophyte the archegonia are present but in case of this uh, netum the uh, male gametophyte in male gametophyte prothelial cells are not formed that is they are absent and in female gametophyte the archegonia are not found so these archegonia are absent so thus here if we observe this uh, morphological characters these anatomical characters and these embryological characters then we will conclude that this netum it shows the many similarities with the angiosperms and so on that basis do on the basis of the similarities found in the netum and this angiospermic plants so it it is suggested by many paleobotanists that from the netum the angiosperms they have been developed and that's why netum it is suggested as the probable ancestor of the angiosperm but here yet there are so many characters which are angiospermic characters found in the netum on the basis of which it is called as the probable ancestor of the angiosperms but there are so many characters of the netum which are purely the gymnospermic characters and on the basis of these gymnospermic characters there is a confusion there is a controversy regarding the uh, uh, giving the uh, support to this theory regarding the probable ancestor of the angiosperm uh, for this netum now let us see this gymnospermic characters of netum gymnospermic characters of netum so here netum as it is the plant of the uh, group that is the gymnosperm so it shows the many gymnospermic characters let us see about this gymnospermic characters of the netum so first important characteristic is that if we see uh, the flowers in case of this netum so in netum the flowers are present in cones flowers present in cones so here if we see in case of all the angiospermic plants flowers they are simple with calyx corolla androecium gynaecium and so on and the flowers they are grouped togetherly forming the inflorescences but in case of this gymnospermic plant that is netum the flowers are present in the cones we know that there is a present of male cone female cone and so on if we see the uh, the wood so this wood of this netum it shows the presence of 
the bordered pitted trickets bordered pitted trickets so we know that in the knee term it is the gymnospermic plant it is known as the advanced gymnosperm and it show the presence of the vessels trickets xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers as like the angiosperm but important thing is that here this um, trachytes these are the border repeated trachytes it is the fundamental cell type in the gymnosperms and it show the presence of the pits on their wall and all these pits these are called as the border pits as surrounding to this pit there is a presence of the border and that's why it is called as the border pitted tracheid so thus here this is the border pits that is the pores which are present on the walls of this tracheid so this is the tracheid and on their wall such type of border pitted border pits are present and thus this border repeated tracheid it is the important gymnospermic character which is the another gymnospermic character of this neatum then if we see um, in case of uh, this neatum as it is the gymnospermic plants the ovules are naked naked it means there is no fruit formation so in neatum there is no fruit formation and that's why seeds are naked ovules are naked so this after the uh, maturation these ovules they gives rise to the seeds and if you observe on the plant the seeds are found in open condition there is no fruit formation as like the angiospermic plant so thus here the ovules are naked in the gymnosperm uh, this neat term which is the important gymnospermic character then if we see uh, this ovules so here during the uh, pollination so this during the pollination here this pollen grains they are deposited in the pollen chamber so there is the presence of the pollen chamber in the ovule and in that pollen chamber if we see the structure of the ovule so here this is the ovule suppose and here there is a presence of the chamber and in this pollen chamber this pollen grains they are deposited they remains for a resting period for some time then germinates and then it gives rise to the uh, pollen tube so thus here the pollination uh, in the ovule for the pollination the pollen chambers are present and during the pollination these uh, pollen grains they directly deposits so this directly deposits in pollen chamber so during the pollination that pollen grains they directly falls in the chamber and then later on the uh, after some period this uh, pollen grain they germinates and gives rise to the pollen tube if we see in this neat term stigma and styles they are completely absent we know that in the angiospermic plants in the uh, gynaecium there is a stigma style and ovary so if we see suppose this is the stigma this is the style this is ovary so this style and the stigma which, which are the important parts of the pistil or the gynaecium in case of the angiospermic plants so this parts that is stigma and style they are completely absent and thus all these are the gymnospermic characters of the neatum which does not show any similarities like that of the angiospermic plants and thus here on that character on the basis of these characters many 
paleobotanists they have suggested that the similar characters they are due to the parallel evolution according to the one opinion another opinion of some scientist is that these gymnospermic characters which are found in this netum they are purely the gymnospermic one but the some characters which are like the angiospermic characters so it is uh, completely on the basis of showing the end line of the evolution so during the course of evolution so this netum uh, it is suggested as the advanced gymnosperm it is suggested as advanced means when the evolution starts so the algae it has given rise to the uh, bryophytes bryophytes given rise to the pteridophytes pteridophytic plants has given rise to the gymnosperm and in that gymnosperm netum is the last one it is most advanced and that's why as it is the advanced gymnosperm it shows the some characters like the angiosperms and on that basis it is suggested that this netum it is the advanced one as it shows the many angiospermic characters now yet many uh, paleobotanists they have suggested that from the netum the angiosperms they have been evolved but according to uh, some workers according to some paleobotanists or on the basis of the fossil studies and fossil records uh it was observed that the fossils of the gym, this netum or sorry the fossils of this gymnosperms they have been found uh before the uh, after the uh, angiospermic plants and so so yet this netum sorry angiospermic uh, fossils they have found before this uh, netum and on that basis it is anybody he, uh, they cannot say that from the netum the angiosperms they have been evolved because angiospermic fossils they are found before this netum and on that basis this view it has been uh, uh, rejected by or it is not accepted by many paleobotanists so thus this is about the uh, origin of angiosperm Uh, suggesting the Nitalian theory about its probable ancestor. So this about this uh, Nitalian ancestry of the angiosperm. So uh, I am going to conclude here this topic that is the Nitalian theory. Thank you very much.